Dusty Crop Hopper has always been a plane with high hopes, literally. Dusty worked for Leadbottom at Propwash Junction, Minnesota as a crop duster for cornfields. He once spent his days spreading vitamin mulch across the fields, but his heart wasn't in his work. His true passion was racing, and he would practice whenever he had the chance with his friend Chubb, a fuel truck that also worked at Propwash Junction. Chug instructed him with the help of a book called Air Racing for Dummies. Besides not being built for racing, his biggest challenge was to overcome his fear of heights. As a crop duster, Dusty was used to flying low, and the thought of soaring to the highways in the sky with their strong tailwinds made him tremble from rotor to rudder. Even though he knew that the speed he would gain was paramount if he wanted to compete with the best aircrafts in the world. Dusty appears to be based on an Air Tractor AT-402. He has a horsepower of 680 and his wingspan is 23 feet. In his free time at Propwash Junction, Dusty enjoyed racing his friends and once had a race against a blue sports car. However, they had barely gone past the starting point when the car started coughing and had to stop because he needed a new air filter. So they quickly got one from an online store. In 2011, Dusty was accidentally filled with jet fuel while at the fill-in fuel and flew extremely fast once he took off. He had to fly until the fuel ran out. Are you okay? Say something. That was awesome! In 2013, he sought out the help of Skipper Riley, a retired member of the Jolly Wrenches, but was at first refused. He applied for the 2013 qualifier in Lincoln, Nebraska, but didn't succeed in the trail run and finished in sixth place. However, he was admitted the next day as officials had discovered the plane ahead of him had used illegal fuel and Dusty was given the racing number seven. He eventually convinced the old Corsair to train him and was soon on his way to the Wings Around the Globe rally, which required the competing planes to fly around the world for almost 80 hours. Dusty traveled to the John F. Kennedy Airport in New York to start the race and meet his competitors. He was soon able to determine his rival, racer number 13, Rip Slinger, also known as the Green Tornado, and his two hench planes, Ned and Zed, who are brothers from New Zealand, nicknamed the Twin Turbos. Dusty made friends with El Chubacabra, an indoor racing champion from Mexico, who is also a singer and romance novelist. Wow! So many fans! Dusty, my friend, don't let it go to your head. You have to stay humble, like me! <laughs> Dusty flew from New York to Iceland, then to Germany, where he removed his M5000 crop sprayer at the recommendation of his first fan, Franz, in order to make himself more aerodynamic. To avoid flying high above the Himalaya mountains on the Nepal leg, Dusty took the Iron Compass, train tracks that went through the mountains. However, he was nearly killed in a head-on collision with a train while flying through the tunnel, but still came in first place. He also won the subsequent race to China. While flying over the Pacific Ocean on his way to Mexico, Zed broke off his antenna, which caused Dusty to become lost. Two FA-18F Super Hornet fighter jets, Echo and Bravo, guided him to the USS Dwight D. Fleisenhauer. Dusty flew too low over the ocean while in a tropical cyclone northeast of the Pacific Ocean and was soon caught by the waves. He crashed into the sea and was severely damaged. He was rescued by the Mexican Coast Guard. Broken wing ribs, twisted gear, bent prop, and your main spar is cracked. Bad. It's over. However, Dottie was able to rebuild him thanks to a generous contribution of spare parts by his fellow competitors. Ashani donated the propeller given to her by Rip Slinger. El Chu brought out the wings from a T-33 Shooting Star jet aircraft, and Bulldog even tossed in his spare satellite navigation device. Dusty had a face-off with Rip Slinger and his hench planes during the final leg of the race across Dead Stick Desert. They almost killed Dusty by ramming him into a cliff, but Skipper flew in to knock the baddies aside.
Dusty continued the race and won by flying past Rip Slinger when he tilted to pose for the photographers. After his triumph in the Wings Around the Globe rally, Dusty was invited back to Skipper's old ship, the USS Dwight D. Fleisenhauer. There, Dusty was granted an honorary membership in the Jolly Wrenches Squadron, and he received a special paint job so he would look the part. He continued his racing career by participating in various events, such as the Red Bulldozer Race and the Jet Sky 100, and finished first three times in the Reno Air Competition. His face was on every major Avion magazine, such as Altitude, Jet Setters, and Reader's Flyjest, and was mentioned in many articles. Journalist Horace J. Turbofan also covered Dusty's success story in an article which read, in a stunning come-from-behind victory, Dusty emerged from a crowded field as the winner of the Red Bulldozer races yesterday. The Crop Hopper pit crew exploded in celebration as the checkered flag came down. He also performed with Chug at a promotional stunt show called the Vitamina Mulch Spectacular, when the original performers Air Devil Jones and Vandemonium couldn't make it. The crowd wasn't impressed at first, but when the friends botched their first act, one thing led to another and soon the show was out of control, with flames, fireworks, mulch, and balloons everywhere. The crowd loved it and applauded the pair, not knowing that their success had been a lucky accident. That same year, Dusty took a photo by a cliffside with one of his fans. However, the truck Dusty was taking a picture with fell off the cliff while his friend commented on how she'd told him a million times to change his brake pads. In 2014, while training with Skipper, Dusty's gearbox broke. This didn't seem to be too serious until he found out that the gearbox was out of production, which meant the end of his racing career until he could find a new one. Buddy, you're, you're saying I, I can't race anymore. After a fire caused by an accident he made while on a defiant flight, officials said that Prop Wash Junction would need another firefighter. Dusty volunteered to train with the aerial firefighters at Piston Peak Air Attack Base as a single-engine air tanker. The idea of Dusty becoming a fire and rescue plane was based on real-life events. The director of planes, Bob Sganaway, stated that during their research, they discovered that in 1955, crop dusters were among the first planes to be used in aerial firefighting. He said that there was a group of crop dusters who reworked their planes so they could drop water. After a series of flame-filled events, Dusty was injured when his gearbox caused him to fall during the rescue of an RV couple. While he was out, the Piston Peak mechanic Maru built him a new gearbox which gave Dusty a second chance to keep racing. In 2022, Dusty will appear in the Disney Plus series Cars on the Road. John Cryer was originally set to play Dusty, but he dropped out. Instead, he was voiced by Dane Cook. Planes is based on a concept created by John Lasseter. Although Pixar did not produce the film, Lasseter, being both chief creative officer of both Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios and director of Cars and Cars 2, was also the executive producer of the film. Planes was produced by Disney Toon Studios, which closed its doors in 2018.